All right. When we're looking to forecast how a firm might perform in the future, we need to address the issue of net income. When a firm makes money or it makes a, a profit on the income statement, it's called net income, right? If it's positive, that means good. If it's negative, that means it lost money. But when a firm earns net income, it either keeps it as a retained earning, in which case it adds each year to its balance of retained earnings, right? or it gives the money to shareholders. If it gives the money to shareholders, there's a few ways that it can do that, but if we look at the standardized statement, all of those ways are summed up under a category called payment of dividends. Since I want to cut and paste, I'm going to do what I did earlier and delete those empty rows. And I'm going to just take payment of dividends, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to bring it over here into my common size statement and I'm going to paste it. Now we know that of the $820,000 in net income that Hershey's had in 2013, 393000 of that was given to shareholders in the form of dividends. I'm going to give myself another little row here, or another row, and I'm going to calculate the dividend payout ratio. And when I talk about dividend payout ratio, I'm asking myself, I'm essentially saying what percentage of net income is returned to shareholders. I italicize this and line it over to the right, and that's my way of letting myself know that this isn't this column, or I'm sorry, this row that I'm making isn't part of the statement, rather it's some information for me. So you take the payment of dividends and you divide it by the net income. And because I want that number to be positive, I enter a negative sign in front of that negative payment of dividend, and I get a percentage. 48 percentage, roughly, of income has been paid out in dividends, or at least was last year. If I look at that historically, it's ranged anywhere from 60.4% in 2009 uh, and as low as 48% in 2013. I can create an average value to estimate what I think that dividend payout ratio is going to be, and I can use that as my value driver when I forecast how much of their income they pay as dividends versus how much they retain. So I could average these and use them and use the average as my dividend payout ratio. However, I'm not sure that I want to just use the average because Hershey's at least has back in 09 and 010, they paid out a lot of their income, much higher than they have in the last three years. So as a value driver, I'm not going to use that 52.8%. I'm going to use something lower. I'll just use, because finance, if you can justify it, you can use it. I'm just going to call it 50%. That's going to be my value driver. So this is figuring out our dividend payout ratio and we will use this value driver as a forecasting item later.